Hello there, Star Wars fans, and welcome back to another RebelScum.com video review. And today's video is brought to you by our good friends over at Hasbro. This is the Phase 2 Clone Trooper Helmet in the Black Series Roleplay line. And this is, of course, one of those awesome items they sent us in our May 4th promo box. So once again, thank you Hasbro for sending us some wonderful toys to play with. This is one I think a lot of people have been excited about since the start of the Black Series roleplay helmets. I mean, who doesn't love clone troopers, right? And starting with the regular plain phase two helmet, I think was a good place to start. Now, don't get me wrong. I still very much want to see the phase one at some point, but personally, I kind of like the phase two just a little bit more, but that's just me. What about you? Let me know what your favorite trooper helmet is in the comments. I don't care if it's not even a clone trooper helmet. I just want to know what your favorite helmet is. Anyway, here it is in that big, awesome Black Series packaging. So there's the helmet kind of at an angle. There's the helmet, but you got this cool little like outline artwork bit there. There's a good kind of frontal angle-ish view with a brief description. There's a full frontal view with some outline artwork, different profile views. And then there it is at an angle. There's that Black Series side panel artwork because they started doing that on these packages. And that's pretty much it for the packaging. And here is the Phase 2 Clone Trooper helmet out of the box. And <coughs> it looks awesome. It really does look really awesome. They, they nailed it. It looks great. All of the awesome black and gray little details are on there. You've got the vents. The vents are even textured on the inside. You got this cool little textured bit on the back. This is where the battery pack is, by the way. So you just get under that lip right there, pull this off, and it takes three AAA batteries here in the back. So that's for the uh, the whole, the mic on the inside of the helmet. Uh, you just push this button right here to turn it on. There you go, now you can hear that. Um, and then you just push it again to turn it off. And you'll, you'll hear an, like a and a sound each time so there you go uh the the little vents right here those feel awesome you got the the little blue little blue paint bits there and yeah yeah it looks it looks really great o overall it yeah it looks really great love the visor visor looks fantastic there's an awesome bit of detail on the inside you got those inner pad pieces right there. I mean, it's not actually soft. It's hard molded plastic. It'd be cool if they were soft, but yeah, you do have that padding detail there. You even have some of the mic and air section details on the inside of the helmet. And then of course, down in here is the actual mic. The adjustable head straps are up in the top and yes, it is fully wearable. And yeah, it fits pretty cool. Not bad. Uh, I wish it sat a little bit higher. Um, where, where it sits, as it sits, it, it is pretty good at eye level. But my biggest problem with these helmets is not, not that I have a really short neck, because I feel like my neck is about normal height. But uh, it, I just don't like how low these helmets sit on your shoulders, because they're not supposed to sit low on your shoulders. It's, it's almost, if you look, it's almost touching my shoulders. It's really close. On the back, it is kind of touching a little bit, which always bugs me with these helmets because when you wear them, you want them to feel and look right. And despite Hasbro doing a good job aesthetically on this, I, I feel like they just haven't quite figured out how to get it to where it sits right now. Everybody's different. It probably fits other people way better than it fits me. Those with a bit of a longer neck. I don't feel like I have a short neck, but maybe I do. Um, 
But as far as does it fit comfortably, I mean, it fits about as comfortably as all of the other Black Series helmets minus the Rebel and Resistant Pilot helmets because those have better padding in them. And overall, I dig it. And if you want to know what the uh, the sound like a Phase 2 clone trooper on the... <laughs> I thought that was really funny because they did write that on the box. Uh, if you want to hear what the voice modulator sounds like so you can sound like a phase two clone trooper it it just makes you sound a little bit louder give that a let you hear that real quick so once again you're going to want to push this button right here on the right you'll hear the sound it makes and uh do i sound like a phase two clone trooper to you i don't think i do but that's uh that's just me I also like that every time you talk and then you stop for a second, you'll hear the click of <laughs> you'll hear the click of the helmet, which is really cool. Very, very Star Wars accurate. I really love that detail. But uh, yeah, I don't think uh, any of us will be replacing D. Bradley Baker anytime soon with this helmet. But overall, not bad at all. A really, really awesome helmet. Probably going to be one of the best ones in the Black Series line. Just this helmet specifically is going to get Hasbro the most repaint mileage ever. Let's let's be honest here. We, we know while this helmet was a long time coming, just expect repaints after repaint after repaint. If you thought they loved repainting the Boba Fett helmet that they did <laughs> just you wait because we already have a few more repaints of this one on the way the 327th helmet is already coming out very soon and I'd be willing to bet money that a 501st helmet's coming in the next year or so a shock trooper helmet's coming in the next year or so a 212th helmet's coming in the next year or so and then there are so many other Lone Trooper helmets they can do. And they, of course, can also do gaming great versions of this with the Phase 2 Clone Trooper helmets from Star Wars Battlefront 2 also. So, yeah, Has Hasbro's, Hasbro's going to have a lot of mileage with this one. They're going to get a lot of us helmet collectors who not only love to collect the different style of buckets, but love to collect every bucket. And... Not to mention that this helmet will be easily modified by Hasbro to have different attachments, to have the different visor bits to, to do different editions of the Phase 2 helmet. They can do a, a heavy version, an officer version, a scout version, and more. So this is a really cool helmet. The only thing that surprises me specifically about this helmet is simply how long it took Hasbro to just get to doing this helmet, but it's a good one. Can't wait to see them do the phase one at some point, maybe even a Republic Commando helmet. That's my personal favorite clone trooper helmet. And also, of course, an ARC trooper helmet would be very cool. Again, I want to know what your favorite helmet is. I asked this question earlier, what's your favorite helmet? Put it down in the comments below. And what helmet, what specific helmet do you hope to see Hasbro do in the near future in the Black Series roleplay line? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned for more Black Series roleplay reviews. Check out some of our other reviews and a lot of our other content as well. We do a wide variety of content here on rebelscum.com. Like and subscribe, follow us on social media so you don't miss content like this. And make sure you check rebelscum.com daily for daily content and news. If you like to buy Star Wars merch, check out Order 66 Toys. They do a live sale every Friday night at 7 p.m. Central Time, and they ship all around the world. And check out CollectorsOracle.com, our new archival website where you can manage and track your Star Wars collection and start managing your collection like a pro. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. May the Force be with all of you, you rebel scum.